Hi guys, how are you doing today? Ready for new stories? I have two new ones today. Listen till the end to hear my insights and update. Enjoy the stories guys, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, don't forget to leave a comment. My son is two and a half, and he's recently been talking about his daddy a lot. As far as I was aware, he had never met his dad since my ex didn't want me to keep him, and we broke up when I had a really bad breakdown at the clinic, and he still tried to persuade me to go back. My sister-in-law babysits my son for me occasionally, and I thought he had just picked up the word from her kids. Other weird things I had noticed recently was that my stepbrother was constantly arranging playdates at his house, but would never invite my sister-in-law's nephew, who was closer in age to his children. My stepbrother is also not a very involved dad, so it was strange that he suddenly had such an interest in my son when he barely had any in his own children. Another weird thing was that he was always buying my son a lot of gifts, even though he never bought anyone a gift since I've known him. My sister-in-law recently found out my stepbrother was cheating on her and finally confessed the truth to me yesterday. All of those times I thought they were watching my son, they were actually taking him to see his dad, who was paying them to arrange all of this. According to my sister-in-law, my ex tried to reach out just after my son was born, but my stepbrother told him I was mentally fragile and it would be a bad idea for him to speak to me because the breakup had caused me to completely lose it, and they were worried contact from him would cause me to go off the rails again. At first, my stepbrother was just giving my ex small updates about me and the baby. But after sister-in-law started babysitting for me, my ex offered them a lot of money in exchange to see our son. My sister-in-law justified it by saying that they needed the money, and since she was babysitting for free, I should understand. I'm beyond angry right now. I've never tried to stop my ex from having contact with our son, but he still decided to be sneaky and I don't even want to ever see my stepbrother again. I told my parents what happened, and my stepmom is telling me to just let things continue how they are, because my stepbrother needs the money, and also, my son is getting to bond with his dad this way. She also pointed out that this way, I don't have to deal with my ex, because my stepbrother handles everything, and since they're sneaking around, I get to dictate when he sees him. I'm not sure what to do now. I did text my ex asking him to call me, but he made some BS excuse about how he had meetings all day, so he'll try to call me later if he gets the chance. I thought I would post this before we talk, since I'm not sure what to say or how to stay calm. I also don't know what to do about my stepbrother. I could really use some help in figuring out what to do next. Update. I spoke to my ex. Most of the conversation was him repeatedly saying how sorry he was and how he knows he messed up. He verified the story my sister-in-law told me. He claimed he felt really guilty for what he had done, and when my stepbrother told him me seeing him would do more harm than good, he thought staying away was the least he could do. He said the original agreement was for him to see our son once, and then my stepbrother would just continue giving him updates, but my stepbrother kept offering to bring him again and he couldn't say no. He said for the past eight months, he was seeing him every single time I left him with my sister-in-law, and that it was always at his house, and there was no one else around. My stepbrother would leave and come back to get him. Also, he was paying him 200 euros per visit, and all those gifts my stepbrother was buying my son were actually from him. We agreed for him to come over on Saturday, so we can talk about potential visitations and what a co-parenting relationship would look like. He wanted to meet tomorrow, but I'm still angry, so I asked for a day to process things. In my opinion, it's time to make visitation and support official. OP should be getting that money, not her stepbrother. Also, I wouldn't trust anyone who was involved with this or knew about it anymore because this wasn't even a moral choice they made. It was financial. My mom and stepmom are very, very different people. My mom is one of those people who wears their emotions on their sleeves. She cries and laughs a lot. If she is angry, you know it. She is very expressive. She also had a really hard life. She had me when she was 19 
and my biological dad abandoned her. She met my dad and they were together for 10 years and she had my sister with him. Because she has babies so young, she had to raise us and didn't get a chance to go to college. She met my stepdad right after she left my dad and they have been together ever since. Because she isn't educated, she's never been able to get a good job and works funny hours at a thrift store. So she has a funny schedule and never really has money. She'd give me money for the wedding, but she doesn't hardly have enough for her own bills. My stepdad is her soulmate, but he needs lots of attention, and it has always been a conflict for her. She would cry a lot because she wanted to spend more time with us as kids, but couldn't because stepdad only had certain times off and she needed to make sure that he had the attention he needed too. I mean, she didn't even have time to cook us dinner at night. She'd take us out to eat instead. So there is no way she would have had the extra time to do some of the stuff my stepmother did. I know she tried really hard at being a mom and did her best, but life was just harder for her than it was for my stepmom. My stepmom came into my life when I was 10 and we have always gotten along well. She is basically the opposite of my mom. I don't think I have ever seen her cry more than one or two tears. She has never raised her voice and yelled at us. Growing up, she was always the one that we went to when we needed things done. She is the one who would sign us up for all the things we wanted to do and help with our homework, throw our birthday parties, call the doctors. She went to college before my stepbrother was born and so was given a good job as a project manager and always had money. My dad started his own business too when he married my stepmom. So they had way more money than my mom. They also owned their own house and so didn't have to pay rent like my mom did. But the courts didn't give my mom any child support at all to help. Anyway, my stepmom did more of the traditional mom stuff like cooking dinner and making Halloween costumes. But she was always a little cold. She rarely said, I love you. My real mom was the emotional support, but life was hard for her, so she couldn't do the traditional mom stuff the same way as my stepmom, even though she wanted to. I love both my mom and my stepmom, and am happy they are both in my life. They both helped me to grow up in their own ways. Anyway, my significant other and I are getting married in less than seven months, and I am planning my wedding. A couple of times, I sent my stepmom some things asking for help, and each time she shrugged it off, saying, you should ask your mom. The last time, I texted her to ask what she thought was the best flower shop in the town we are going to get married is, and if she thinks that lilies would be good in the bridal bouquet. She never responded, which is really unlike her. So I stopped by her house on my way home from work and asked her again. This time, she told me that I should plan my wedding with my mom. I pressed her on why she wouldn't help, and she said that she had promised herself a long time ago that once us kids were out of the house, she would never have to deal with my mom again, and that she'll be happy to financially contribute with my wedding, but would rather not get in any situation where she is going to have to deal with my mother. I never knew she even didn't like my mom. She never said anything growing up. If anything, she always was supportive of my relationship with my mom. When I had problems with her as a teen, she would always tell me that your mother loves you or would say, I don't know your mom. I can't tell you why she does what she does, but I know she loves you. I asked her why she doesn't like my mom, but she wouldn't answer. She said that her relationship with my mother should in no way affect my relationship with my mom, and there is no need to spread past drama, but that she has set a boundary and hopes that I can respect that. I was so confused. I asked my mom about it to see if she could tell me why my stepmom might have said that. My mom got so upset and started crying and getting angry. She was saying that my stepmom is trying to ruin my wedding because she has always tried to control our lives just because she wanted power. She said that there was a reason that stepmom had thrown our birthday parties even though she had wanted to. I asked my mom to tell me what she was talking about, but she said it wasn't my concern. Then she tried looking up my stepmom on Facebook to write her a letter, but stepmom had blocked her. Stepmom had blocked her everywhere. It's been four days and my mom is still so mad. I am a little concerned that my mom is going to use my wedding to talk to my stepmom about it. 
I don't really want the drama. I asked my stepmom to confront my mom to help calm her down, but my stepmom just started laughing. I'm so frustrated. 1. I don't want this sort of drama. I don't know why now, after 14 years, my stepmom has to start acting this way. I don't understand why she won't just talk to my mom or open up the channels. My mom is just an emotional person. She really does try her best as a mom though. 2. I really could use some help with planning my wedding. My mom would help, but like I said, she doesn't really have time. My stepmom is way better at planning things and keeping organized. It's not like my stepmom would have to talk to my mom to help me plan it. It makes me feel like she doesn't actually care about me, that she would just cut me off. 3. I really want to know what happened between my stepmom and mom. I know they say it isn't my business, but it sure feels like it is my business, and their actions are affecting me. 4. How do I keep this from blowing up at my wedding? I almost feel like telling my stepmom that she shouldn't come if she won't help me calm down my mom first. I don't want my wedding day ruined by my mom being so hurt, but I also really need the financial support that my stepmom and dad are giving me and don't want to jeopardize that. What should I do? Sounds to me like OP's mom is a manipulative drama queen that OP's stepmom was required to deal with when OP was a child. OP's mom probably made life hell for OP's stepmom, but stepmom was kind enough to shelter OP from the crazy. Now, she's under no obligation to communicate with OP's mom, and she's choosing not to. I don't blame her. OP doesn't need to know the details about why OP's stepmom doesn't like OP's mom, but OP's mom's reaction gives a pretty good indication. I would ask stepmom if she'd be willing to work just with OP on certain aspects of the wedding, without OP's mom being involved. If not, I would respect her decision. I did what many suggested and told my stepmom that I respected her boundaries and thanked her for always having supported me in my life. She seemed really touched. We had a good conversation and she admitted that she would like to help, but as some of you have guessed, she was sure that if my mom heard that she had helped with something, that my mom would become critical of it and it would put me in an awkward spot. I told my mother that she needed to calm down and that even if stepmom didn't like her, they were adults and this is my day and I could really use some help making it special. Much to my surprise, she said she would love to help and had been waiting to plan a wedding her whole life. A little backstory, my mom and dad had married in a courthouse with no ceremony. My mom and stepdad aren't actually married. He's just been around for so long, we just call him stepdad. Well guys, turns out my mom is crazy. It started with her canceling the venue we had reserved. We wanted an outdoor wedding in a beautiful park near us and trying to book a destination wedding in Hawaii. What the duck? Luckily, the refunded deposit didn't at all cover her desired location deposit, so she came and asked me to cover the rest. That was a huge blow up, but we got it sorted out. She had claimed that she wanted to surprise me with a dream wedding and that I deserved the best. I told her that an outdoor wedding with all of my friends that fit in my budget was my dream wedding. I still believed, at this point, she had been doing it to be kind. Boy, am I a sucker. Things slinked into twilight zone after that. She kept saying it was our wedding, as in mine and her wedding. I wanted a cupcake bar. She tried to change the order to a cake. She picked up the wrong supplies for our centerpieces. She would argue with all the vendors. Every time she did something, we had a massive fight, ending with her crying and hysterical, saying I shouldn't be getting a wedding before she got her wedding, that my dad owed her a wedding. She'd apologize profusely the next day and say she knows she was acting crazy, but that the wedding planning was just bringing up a lot of unresolved issues for her. She said she was going to counseling and getting her depression medication adjusted. I would feel bad and forgive her the whole cycle would start again. After months of this, I thought we had finally reached an understanding that she could have a wedding, but she couldn't have my wedding. I was wrong. She bought a white sequined floor-length dress with a pillbox hat with veil to wear to the ceremony. When she sent me the picture, I honestly just went numb. I know I had told her that I would respect her wishes, but I didn't know who else to talk to. 
So I brought the picture over to my dad and stepmom's house. I showed it to stepmom and then started bawling my eyes out. At first, I thought my stepmom was crying with me. She wasn't. She was laughing so hard she could hardly breathe. She called my dad in and he started laughing so hard that they couldn't stand up straight anymore. Long story short, both my stepmom and dad ended up helping me manage my mom during the wedding. She taught me how to put her on an information diet and require passwords at vendors. My dad ripped into her about it being her wedding. My stepmom had the great idea of telling my mom that the white would match stepmom's dress and be good because it's popular for brides to now wear a dress in the wedding colors. My colors were teal and gold. My mom showed up in a teal dress, as did stepmom. My dad and stepmom ran interference for me with my mom all day on my wedding day. They said they were old pros at it and it was their wedding present to me. It turned out to be a beautiful day and I didn't hear about any of the drama until after the day. All in all, it was an eye-opening experience. I always knew my mom was emotional. I just hadn't realized how much she also manipulates things. I became a lot closer with my dad and stepmom and am actually pretty low contact with my mother now. It has made me really reevaluate my childhood and I feel like I have grown a lot. Thank you, Reddit, for being the first to start opening my eyes.